the entire bit. WNBA, I'm talking players, coaches, and refs. They're all a bunch of Caitlin Clark haters. They're all a bunch of jealous haters. Yep. Caitlin Clark adding another milestone as she broke the WNBA single season rookie mark for assists. She's the real deal. Um, listen, I believed in her from day one. You knew that she would only get better and better. She don't do this. She gonna, not gonna do that. That's Let her cook. There's something the analysts covering the WNBA are not telling you. Over the last two years, Caitlin Clark has solidified herself as the golden girl of women's basketball, right? Well, I'm here to tell you otherwise. Behind the clips getting millions of views on House of Highlights Daily lies a cryptic reality behind the WNBA as a whole. Here's the uncomfortable truth about Caitlin Clark. Ever since college, among big female names like Haley Van Lith, Juju Watkins, and Paige Beckers, there are two names in particular that have stood out. Those names being, as you guessed, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Now, despite Angel Reese not even ranking above most of the previously mentioned names, it seemed that somehow her, along with Caitlin Clark, always found their names trending on social media. But how is that? If we investigate further into the catalog of these big social media pages, it's not hard to tell that the best performing clips always seem to be some sort of controversy, typically including Caitlin Clark. With Caitlin Clark's name headlining these controversial clips every other week, it's a miracle how she's still viewed as the hero. Now, every fan of women's basketball has obviously seen the clip of Angel Reese taunting Caitlin Clark after winning the NCAA championship. But what you might not know is that Angel Reese was actually mocking Caitlin Clark's taunting from a previous game. In her post-game interview, Angel Reese even said this. Me? <laughs> Incredible player for sure, but I don't take disrespect lightly. And she disrespected Alexis and my girls. South Carolina, they still my SEC girls too. That y'all not gonna disrespect them either. So I had, I, I wanted to pick her pocket, but I, I had a moment at the end of the game, and that was just I was in my bag. I was in my moment. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Not only did Angel Reese pay her respects to Caitlin Clark, but she explained that she was doing this for her team and not to start any problems. Now, of course, this clip didn't receive nearly as many views as the clip that lacks context, but that brings us to the harsh truth of this controversy. But before we jump into that, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel because your support helps out a lot. A perfect league is not what people want to see. While this might not be in the favor of the players, the WNBA has begun to leech off of this marketing strategy and has done everything in their power to create beef between the players. Now, obviously, Caitlin Clark has been an undisputed best choice for the WNBA to raise into a star due to her sheer skill. But meanwhile, Angel Reese, despite that first name, was the perfect candidate for the WNBA's villain role due to the already cemented rivalry between her and Clark. Now, while you can make a case that Angel Reese has played into that role, between the seams is the puppet work of none other than the WNBA. Rewind to June the 1st of 2024, the Indiana Fever had just barely beat the Chicago Sky in a close game with a lot of great performances. And despite Caitlin Clark only dropping 11 points, it seemed that all the mics and cameras had still found their way to her immediately after the game. In fact, the most trending clip directly after that game had to be a flagrant foul that Chennedy Carter committed on Caitlin Clark. Of course, Angel Reese, whose team had put up a good fight, wasn't happy with the criticism that followed the game, and in the post-game interview, she spoke up about it. Now, of course, Angel Reese only putting up eight points this game. Twitter had a field day with her, sparking up more criticism than she would have ever initially received. While this may have been good for Angel Reese's image, you can just imagine what a player being number one trending in the world does for their league sales. And with the context, you can see how Angel Reese is actually right. She ultimately fell into that bait that's growing the league's popularity rapidly. And if you made it this far in the video, 
Drop a comment down below and tell me who's your favorite women's basketball player. While Angel Reese landed on the less fortunate side of the WNBA's plot, Caitlin Clark has to be credited for earning her role as the WNBA's hero. Aside from her charismatic personality, you just can't deny that Caitlin Clark is a one-of-one -one generational talent that is well-deserving of the media attention. One of the biggest problems with the WNBA since the league has been formed is the skill comparison to the NBA that has, until now, been a large gap. And if we bring it back to the 2024 All-Star Game, well, we can see how the WNBA is making an effort to earn their respect. During this All-Star Game, Sabrina competed in a three-point shooting contest with Curry, who she did ultimately end up losing to. However, she actually outscored all other competitors that night aside from Curry. This event served as a way to garner some traction from the already existing fan base of the NBA, who had some newfound respect for the WNBA after seeing her performance. Now back to Caitlin Clark. When you're already regarded as one of the greatest shooters in the world right out of college, you can just imagine Clark is everything the WNBA had been wishing for. Since entering the league, Clark has broken various records as the fastest rookie in the WNBA history to record 400 points and 200 assists, doing so in only 26 games. In fact, if she keeps playing at that pace that she's playing now, she's well on track to have a career even better than Curry, already averaging the same amount of points, more rebounds, and more assists. This type of sheer domination might just be what the WNBA needs to finally earn its respect. And hey, with this year's NBA All-Star Game in a few months, we could see some familiar female faces rewriting history. As always, keep ballin' and peace out.